Do you want to play better golf? Of course you do. Well, here are three easy ways to do it. One, open your smartphone and look for the podcast app. Two, open the podcast app and search Breaking Par with Bernard Sheridan. Three, subscribe and never miss an episode of great golf instructor interviews from around the world. A new guest every week, like David Ledbetter, Brian Manzella, Dr. Sashal McKenzie, James Siegman, just to name a few. Hear their insight as they deliver their wisdom of the game. Take control of your game. Subscribe today. Your game will thank you for it. Hi, my name is Bernard Sheridan. Welcome back to Par Breakers Golf Academy. And today we're going to take a look at the swing of Brian Harmon. And when he made a second hole in one, which was pretty incredible, two hole in ones at the same round at the Barclays, which is pretty amazing. So, first thing I want you to notice here is he takes a last look at the target before he goes and then settles and then off he goes. So let's take a look at what's going on here in this swing. All right. So, of course, what we can notice is immediately everything is squared up to his target line. So that is extremely important, folks. Okay. Feet are square. Shoulders are square. Hips are square. All to the target line. Let's take a look at the target line. Let's draw one right now. And there is target line. Okay. So if we notice here, everything else is pretty much square to that. All right. That's important if you wanted the ball to go where you are aiming and to make sure you're aiming at the correct spot. What I always have my students do is always choose a spot somewhere straight up here you know, a half a foot, two feet, three feet down that target line. We'll call that an intermediate target or a near field target or an aim point. Any one of those things, making sure that your club face is square to that, then square your body up to the rest of those things. Okay, feet, shoulders, hips. All right. Now, as he travels back here, what I want you to notice is by this point, the shaft itself is pointing very much so at the target line. That again is crucial. We're not seeing a lot of that right hand breaking down. That wrist is flat by this point. It's not coming way inside. Okay. So that's a big reason why he, as he set up this shot, things went well for him. Now, as he goes to the top, he still makes a real nice turn, okay? But I want you to notice here that hips are not really open a lot on the backswing, okay? They're fairly stable. They do open slightly. And back is to the target, okay? Head is still staying steady. Now, on the way back down, what happens is hips start to clear first. Shoulders begin to catch up. And as he goes into impact, that shaft again is right down that target line. Okay, it's aiming directly at that target line. That is imperative, folks. Okay, that has to happen. Right as he gets to impact, right there, hips open up, shoulders begin to open up. And then as he comes through, he really gets his shoulder aiming to where he wants that ball to go. We can think about this like when a pitcher throws a pitch. His shoulder aims at where the ball is going to end up. Now, of course, if you're a batter and that ball is thrown, by the time you see where his shoulder is aiming, the pitch is already by you. Okay, so, so as a batter, you're looking at the release point. 
but it's an understanding of function to get a ball to go where you want it to. You got to get your shoulder to face that target. Okay. So let's think about that. All right. So big congratulations to Brian on two, count them, two hole in ones in the same round. So, and if you want to take control of your game, then subscribe today to our channel. I'm Bernard Sheridan. As always, it's a pleasure. Thanks so much for being with us. And until we meet again, do your best to keep it in the short grass.